We're here in Northern Ontario. The temperature right now is minus 15 degrees. And behind me is a hundred year old farmhouse, which until it was renovated about a year ago, was costing about $900 a month to heat. This particular owner has gone to solar technology in order to reduce these costs by as much as 70%. So come with us now and we'll show you around. So this basically captures the sun's energy and turns it into electrical energy. These collectors provide about uh, between 40 and 50,000 BTU of heating per hour. These two systems can work very nicely together to provide uh, heating and ventilation for the entire home. We have a hardwood floor here and underneath the hardwood we have uh, radiant floor coils and those coils are heated by the uh, solar array that we saw a little earlier. Well, uh, this is a 620 gallon uh, solar storage tank. So this is referred to as long-term or seasonal storage in the solar world. This furnace doesn't have a burner. Uh, in this case, the burner is something uh, called a hydronics coil, which is powered by solar hot water and an on-demand tankless boiler. Essentially, you're getting paid for the hydro that you're using and any excess hydro uh, goes back on the grid and you get it back in terms of the form of a rebate. Now tell me, the average consumer, what do they have to know? Well, all the user has to do is uh, learn how to work a thermostat, which they pretty much already know how to do. We've seen how this particular homeowner has saved over 70% in the cost of heating their home through the use of three different types of solar technology. This is not just an energy saving story, but it's a story about a better living house, a house that's got good radiant floor heating, good clean air, and with the price of energy going the way it is, this is a system that you have to look into. This is your solar home.